Welcome to the Travel Smart channel. Today we are going to do a comparison between the Hard Rock Cancun and Planet Hollywood Cancun. We'll compare the locations, the size of the resorts, the rooms, pools, beaches, things to do, bars, and restaurants. We've done the research for you, so you can choose which resort is the best fit for you. And we'll also share which resort we've chosen for our upcoming December trip to Cancun, Mexico. We'll be sharing detailed videos from the resort during and after our trip. So don't forget to subscribe to the Travel Smart channel for updates. Let me just start by saying if you have not visited Cancun or other locations in the Caribbean in the month of December, I think you're missing out. There's just something magical about being on a beach resort with Christmas trees in the lobby and Christmas decorations throughout the resort, all while your friends and family are freezing their butts off back home. Last year in December, we stayed in the North Hotel Zone at the Dream Sands Cancun. If you're interested in the Dream Sands, please check out our video on the top pros and cons of the Dream Sands Cancun after viewing this video. This year, we wanted to try a different part of Cancun. After much research, we had narrowed it down to the Hard Rock Cancun and Planet Hollywood Adult Selection Cancun. Both resorts are absolutely beautiful. They are both top-notch, all-inclusive resorts, and I honestly don't think you could go wrong with either one. Let's start with the locations. The Hard Rock Cancun is located in the beautiful South Hotel Zone of Cancun, Mexico. The beach there is absolutely gorgeous. And I really like that it's wall-to-wall -wall resorts, just in terms of walking on the beach in front of the resorts without being in secluded areas. The Hard Rock location is also closer to all the action of downtown Cancun. So if you want to hit the nightclubs like Coca Bongo and Senior Frogs, then the Hard Rock is a great selection for you. Planet Hollywood Cancun is located in beautiful Costa Mujeres. It's not far from the tropical island of Isla Mujeres. It's a newer resort area of Cancun, so the resorts there are newer and a little less worn out. But the resorts aren't as close together. That could be a good thing, but we also really enjoy walking down the beach, so I would feel a little bit safer with the wall-to-wall -wall resorts, but from what I've read online, the area seems to be pretty safe by Mexico standards. Now let's compare the size of the resorts. I believe the actual number of rooms are about the same. Things just seem to be a little more condensed in tighter spaces at the Hard Rock where Planet Hollywood seems more spread out. We'll get into the details of all the amenities and restaurants and bars in upcoming sections. Now let's take a look at the rooms. Both resorts seem to have adequate accommodations. The rooms seem nice, but nothing over the top. The Hard Rock's junior suites include a Whirlpool tub in the rooms. Now that's a pretty cool feature and a classy touch. Planet Hollywood's junior suites are slightly more spacious than the Hard Rock at 581 square feet compared to the 430 square feet at the Hard Rock. Both hotels include balconies with each room and Planet Hollywood has some swim out rooms available. The hotel amenities are pretty similar and unfortunately it looks like neither of them have alcohol spirits available in the room in the base package price. Although both do have mini bars with soft drinks and beer. I plan to have some of my own booze in the room for personal use with mixers and you can always bring cocktails or shots back from the hotel bars to enjoy in your room. Now let's compare the pools. The infinity pool looks amazing at the Hard Rock, but I do have concerns about sufficient seating around the pool based on how condensed everything is. The Hard Rock also has a kids pool with slides at the kids club. There are two swim up bars and two outdoor spa tubs. There's an additional pool on the roof for VIP level only, and bar service is provided throughout the pool areas. At Planet Hollywood, the pools are great as well. There's a family pool, an adults only pool, a lazy river that flows into a swim up float up bar, a kid's Jurassic water park and splash pad, and an additional pool for Star Club guests only. There is also a Flow Rider surf simulator for an additional charge or it is included with some use for the Star Club members. The family pool and adult pools both have swim up bars and bar service is provided throughout the pool areas. The Lazy River is a very nice touch and the Blue Lagoon Lazy River Bar has my lazy ass dreaming of floating up to the bar for another cocktail refill. Comparing the beaches, 
Looking at the Hard Rock Beach, I mentioned this briefly earlier, but I really do like the look of the South Hotel Zone beaches, as well as how close together the hotels are in terms of walking the beach in a safer environment. The downside to how close the hotels are is just how compact everything appears to be. The beach is close to the pools and doesn't look extremely wide. Much as I was saying with the pools, it feels compacted. If you have trouble walking longer distances, this might be a better fit for you as it will be a much shorter walk out to the beach than what you'll find at Planet Hollywood. The Planet Hollywood Cancun Beach is a further walk from the hotel and pool areas, and there are boardwalks that take you out to the beach. The beach appears to be more spread out and less condensed than the hard rock. The water looks great from what I've seen most of the time, especially when it's not seaweed season in the Cancun area. The research I've done also has confirmed that they maintain the beaches very well both at Planet Hollywood and the Hard Rock Cancun. Planet Hollywood also has two beach bars which are conveniently located especially since the pool bars are a little farther away from the beach. Now let's explore the things to do at these resorts. If you're a golfer that's looking to play on this trip then the Hard Rock is going to be a better choice as golf is included at the Riviera Cancun Golf Club. Although it is included, there are some service fees that apply. The other things to do with the Hard Rock include the pools, the beach, there are games and activities scheduled throughout the day, there is also nightly shows, and people seem to hang out in the lobby bar a lot in the evenings. There is also a spa and fitness center. Planet Hollywood also has an activities team with games and activities at the pools, and both resorts have bubble parties. In addition to the pools and the beach, the Lazy River with the Blue Lagoon Grotto Bar is an area you could spend a lot of time. They also have what looks to be a very nice miniature golf course. There's a movie theater, a fitness center and spa. There are nightly shows. And for an additional charge, there is the Flowrider Surf Simulator, Arcade, Trampoline Park, and the Hollywood Fast Drivers attraction that looks pretty fun as you can go from 0 to 62 miles an hour in just 2 seconds in a fast and furious race car. Speaking of bars, Planet Hollywood in my opinion has the Hard Rock beat in this area. The Hard Rock has the majority of their bars outside. There are two swim up bars and the Diego bar that serves international drinks. There's an amphitheater bar that appears to only be open during their nightly shows and the lobby bar serves as the main entertainment hub in the evenings. They also do have a healthy bar on the third floor. At Planet Hollywood, it took me a bit of research on my part to be able to organize all the bars from what I had discovered. Swim up bars include the Cascade Pool Bar at the Adults Pool, the Point Break Pool Bar at the Family Pool, the Blue Lagoon Lazy River Bar, and the Star Class Pool Bar for Star Club members. There are two beach bars out on the beach, the Baywatch Beach Bar on the adult side and the Surf's Up Beach Bar on the family side. The lobby and main building bars include the Scene Lobby Bar in the Adults Lobby, the Premier Bar and Lounge Martini Bar, Twist Social Bar, and the Studio Disco Bar and Lounge for late night entertainment. Additional bars at Planet Hollywood Cancun include the Overtime Sports Bar that doubles as a restaurant and is open from 11 a.m. to 2 a.m. They even have a bar at the kids' pool called the Blue Crush Bar. And there is an additional Point Break the Sequel Bar near the family pool. Again, there are plenty of bar options at Planet Hollywood, which is a great feature to have at any resort, and especially an all-inclusive one. Let's take a look at the restaurant offerings. From the research that I've done, both the Hard Rock and Planet Hollywood have great reviews in terms of quality of food. The Hard Rock, they have an international buffet and five specialty restaurants, including Mexican, an Asian restaurant that features a la carte, hibachi, and sushi, a seafood restaurant, a steakhouse, and an Italian restaurant. They also have a poolside grill serving up burgers and pizzas, I think tacos, etc. Lunch is also served at some of the specialty restaurants. There is a coffee shop in the lobby and 24 hour room service is available as well. Planet Hollywood has an international buffet, seven specialty restaurants including a Japanese restaurant with a la carte, hibachi and sushi, an Italian restaurant, a steakhouse, a sports bar, an Indian restaurant, a Mexican restaurant and a beach club. Although the beach club shows on their website is being temporarily closed. There are two additional restaurants included in the adults area a Brazilian restaurant and a seafood restaurant. 
There's also a guy's burger joint out by the pools. And lunch is served at some of the specialty restaurants. There is also a coffee and ice cream shop. And don't forget that 24-hour room service is also available. Both of these Cancun all-inclusive resorts are great choices. Choose the resort that best fits what you're looking for for your Cancun vacation. Our opinion is just that, an opinion. And be sure to share yours in the comments so other viewers can benefit from additional opinions as well. And now, on to the reveal. After carefully researching the Hard Rock Cancun and Planet Hollywood Cancun, we've booked our Cancun trip with Planet Hollywood Adult Selection Cancun. The main factors for us was the larger, more spacious resort with more things to do on property and more bars and restaurants to choose from. Some of the things we're most excited for on our trip are floating on the Lazy River and floating my lazy ass up to that Blue Lagoon Lazy River Bar, chilling on the spacious, beautiful beach while we listen to the waves roll in and sipping on a frosty beverage, taking part in resort activities like mini golf and the Hollywood Fast Drivers, trying new cocktails at the Premier Bar and Lounge Martini Bar, and enjoying the warm weather in our Santa hats while it's cold back home. We'll be sharing some more detailed videos on Planet Hollywood Cancun. We'll share some short videos while we're there, and then we'll put together the more long-form detailed content when we get back home from our trip. Please be sure to subscribe to the Travel Smart channel. Thank you for watching, and as always, travel smart, my friends.